if you are running an online business, chances are you already have some kind of lead magnet setup, whether it's an ebook, a guide, or a newsletter. Over time, you are likely left with a growing list of leads who already know about your business but aren't quite ready to take that next step in order to become your client. Now, imagine having an AI assistant that can personally reach out to these leads and have a personal conversation with them using relevant information about their business and even invite them to schedule a call with you on autopilot. That would be pretty cool, right? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so to start the flow, I'm going to create a new row here in my Google Sheets CRM. And let me add some information here so that we can see the personalization. Um, say in urban area let's say that and so this is to simulate the action of a prospect just downloaded the um, lead magnet and fill out the information in the form that we have captured in this google sheet and so now i'm going to jump over to make so that you can see how the scenario is triggered so for the sake of the demo i'm going to run this once and we will see how the call is initiated okay so here we have the information and okay the call has come through now let's see how it goes hello this is tony yes this is tony Hi, Tony. I'm Jarvis from Magento AI. I noticed you recently downloaded our ebook on AI agents. Did you find the information helpful? Yeah, it was quite informative, especially on the case studies. That's great to hear, Tony. We believe AI agents can significantly benefit your real estate agency, especially in an urban area like yours. We'd love to offer you a free 30 minute consultation to discuss how we can assist you further. Would you be interested in that? Yeah, that sounds great. I Wonderful. I can schedule that for you now. What day and time would be most convenient for you? Um, how about today at 3 p.m.? This will just take a sec. Give me a moment. Your free consultation has been successfully scheduled for today at 3 p.m. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. If you have any questions before then, feel free to reach out. Have a fantastic day, Tony. All right. Thanks, Jarvis. Bye. So here's how it works. First, you would set up your lead magnet form to capture key details about the prospect, such as their name, their email, their phone number, and some information about their business. The form is connected to a CRM. It can be Airtable or Google Sheets or other platform. So once someone downloads the lead magnet, there would be a new row in the CRM and the AI assistant would detect that entry and initiate an outbound call to the prospect. During the call, the assistant can use the information that we have about the prospect to tailor and personalize the conversation based on what we know about them, building rapport and trying to warm them up before the big ask, which is inviting them to jump on a free consulting call which is my assumption of the next step in your sales funnel. And so if the prospect agrees to have a call, the assistant would simply take that time and cross check that to the availability of the business. And if the spot is open, then they are going to proceed to book that call and send the email to the prospect. And this is all done using Google Calendar. What's great about this kind of system is that it makes lead nurturing into a much more direct, personal and engaging process. So traditionally, businesses rely on follow-up emails to nurture leads. So slowly guiding them through the funnel before making a bigger ask, which in this case is scheduling a call to discuss further. But the problem is that emails often get lost in inboxes, ignored or even marked as spam. And so with an AI voice assistant, you are bypassing those barriers and engaging leads in real time with a personal touch that feels really human. And this proactive approach can significantly boost response rates and build a stronger connection faster. 
That being said, there are some caveats about this kind of outbound voice agent. First of all, this approach relies on the prospect willingly providing their phone number, which can be a barrier, a big gas, especially in the beginning. Not everyone is comfortable with sharing their information upfront, so you might need to incentivize or offer additional value in order to encourage that. Second, not every lead will be ready to schedule a call immediately depending on the lead magnet that you are offering and so therefore it's important to have a qualifying mechanism in place in order to ensure that the lead is ready to move down the funnel for example you can qualify them based on the kind of business that they are in using the information that they provided in the form or you can implement a time delay to make sure that the lead already had enough time to digest the material in the free lead magnet that you provided in the first place and this will help ensure that you are contacting leads that are more likely to engage rather than those who are not primed for outreach yet but before going deeper into how I build and set up this assistant, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help businesses automate their manual operations and scale using AI agents, just like the one that you've just seen. If you enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about building AI agents, which is what we do on this channel. Unlike in the previous videos where I usually start with Vapi, for this one I will start with the mech scenarios. And the reason for that is because this time the phone call is not triggered from Vapi but is triggered from this mech scenario itself. In other words, we are not waiting for the customer or prospect to call our assistant but we are triggering the assistant to call the prospect um, proactively when a specific condition is met. And this is why it's called an outbound voice agent as opposed to an inbound voice agent like the one that I like the ones that I've built so far on this channel. And so in this particular example, we are setting this module to watch for new rows uh, in my Google Sheets CRM. And when there are new rows in the sheets, the phone calls will be triggered. Here's another important clarification that I want to make. The scenario is not run whenever a new row is added to the sheet. Instead, we can set it to run at a specific cadence, a specific frequency. For example, as you can see here, we can set it to run every 15 minutes or you know, every week on the same day and so on. And when the scenario is run, the phone calls will be initiated for all of the new rows or all of the new prospects that were added since the last time that the scenario was last run. So for instance, right, if I set the scenario to run, say, every Sunday, and this week there were five new prospects who downloaded the lead magnet, then the calls will be made to five prospects on that Sunday which would mean five calls, five outbound calls. So next, we will take the prospect's information coming from the Google Sheets and use that to create a transient voice assistant that can carry out the conversation that is tailored specifically to this prospect based on the information. And so a transient assistant is basically an impermanent assistant initiated specifically for the purpose of this one single call. And so as you can see here, I'm using the HTTP module in Mac to trigger the call using my VAPI assistant. And if you are not familiar with this module, basically allows you to integrate with any external services or systems by making API calls to them via HTTP request. And now you might be wondering why don't I just use the VAPI built-in module in Mac, which does exist. And the reason for that is this. If you look at the create an outbound phone call module in Mac, this one right here, you will see that even though we can reference an existing assistant in VAPI using the assistant ID, we cannot customize that assistant 
based on the real-time information that we are getting from the Google Sheets that we are trying to do here. So in other words, there's no way for us to inject the prospect's information into the VAPI's assistant system prompt and therefore we cannot personalize this call using the specific data points that we have collected from them uh, in the, coming from the Google Sheets. So what can we do instead? Well, in this case, we would need to initiate a transient assistant specifically for this call and this prospect using the information that we have and inject that into the system prompt like what I'm doing here. So this is the API call that we will need to make in order to create the transient assistant and initiate the outbound call. Now, before you get overwhelmed with all of this code and syntax, let me reassure you that it's not that scary. And the reason for that is because most of the properties that we are seeing here corresponds to the properties that you are already familiar with in the VAPI dashboard. And many of them can be left as default as well. So what do I mean by most of these fields correspond to the properties that we are familiar with in the VAPI dashboard already? So what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the content of the HTTP request that I'm sending to VAPI, I'm specifying a lot of the same properties that I usually do in the VAPI dashboard. For example, the information about the transcriber in the request can be found right here in the transcriber section of the dashboard of the assistant. Similarly, the information about the model, you know, the provider, the model itself, the temperature, and even the system prompt can be found in the model section of the assistant. And finally, if you remember that previously in the assistants that we built, we would need to specify the tools and functions that the assistant would have access to. Well, how do we specify that in the HTTP request that we are sending via an API call? Well, you can find them right, right here, two IDs. And where do these two IDs come from? Well, I'm directly referencing the tools that I have already built for appointment booking, which is check availability and uh, sending the email uh, to the prospect once the appointment has been booked. And I'm referencing them using the ID, which you can copy from here and paste it directly into the request itself. Now, how exactly does the prospect's information from Google Sheets, the one that we received right here, gets injected into the assistant's system prompt so that it can reference during the conversation? Well, if we scroll down to the request content again, you would see that I'm specifying the system prompt here and inside the system prompt, you will see the properties we are getting from Google Sheets being referenced. So for example, in the booking invitation, I'm telling the assistant to personalize that invitation based on the business information that we got from Google Sheet, which came from the answer that the prospect gave in the form that they fill out. And then if we scroll out some more, you would see that we are calling the book appointment function to book the appointment. And we are calling that with the two inputs, which is the name and the email of the prospect that we are getting from the Google Sheets as well. And finally, if we scroll all the way down here, we would see that we are specifying the first message to use the name of the prospect that we got from Google Sheets. And finally, we also specify the name and number of the prospect here in the customer objects so that the assistant would know which customer is calling and which number they can be reached at. And that is how the voice assistant can make outbound call on the fly using the information of the prospect from the Google Sheet to personalize the conversation. As usual, I will leave the system prompt as well as other resources that I referenced in the video in the description below. That's it. An AI assistant that can help you call and nurture your leads in a very personal and engaging way, then convert them into booking a call. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well.
it would mean a lot to me and it would also help the video show up to others who might benefit from it as well. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of AI agents or topics you would like me to cover next because I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. And finally, if you are a business looking to implement this kind of system to future-proof your business with AI, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or book a call in the link I leave in the description below. And that's it from me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.